This spaghetti squash with chickpeas, feta, and wilted spinach is a great way to make a pasta dish without using any pasta with tons of vegetables. It's also gluten free. For this class, you'll need one small or medium spaghetti squash, one small can of whole tomatoes, two cups baby spinach, two cups chickpeas drained and rinsed, two cloves of garlic, black pepper, half a cup of crumbled feta cheese, two tablespoons pine nuts, kosher salt, two tablespoons olive oil, one teaspoon oregano, and half a cup pitted Kalamata olives. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the garlic cloves under the flat side of the knife and smash to crush. Run the knife across the garlic cloves to mince. Roughly chop the Kalamata olives. Pour the tomatoes into a large bowl. Crush the tomatoes by hand. You might want to wear an apron for this. Smash the squash against the counter until you see a crack. Place your knife in the crack and cut the squash in half lengthwise. You'll really need to put your weight behind this. Scoop out the seeds with a large spoon and discard. Repeat with the other half of the squash. Drizzle the inside of the squash with one tablespoon of olive oil. Season with kosher salt. Sprinkle with black pepper. Place the squash cut side down on a baking sheet. This will help the squash flesh steam and cook faster. Roast the squash until tender. This will take about 25 minutes. Place a small pan over low heat. Add the pine nuts. Lightly toast the pine nuts until they're golden and fragrant. Turn off the heat and remove the pine nuts. Place a large pan over medium high heat. Add one tablespoon of olive oil. When the oil is shimmering, add the garlic. Stir to coat the garlic in oil. Add the oregano. Stir to coat the oregano in oil. Cook until the garlic is golden brown, about one to two minutes. Add the crushed tomatoes. Stir and let the tomatoes simmer for about 10 minutes. Add 
Add the Kalamata olives. Stir the Kalamata olives to combine. Add the chickpeas. Stir to combine. Taste and add salt as needed. Add a pinch of pepper. Stir to combine. Add the spinach. Stir to wilt the spinach and let it cook for one minute. Remove the squash from the oven. Scoop out the squash flesh with a large spoon. It will come out in spaghetti-like strings. Continue to remove the flesh of the second half of the spaghetti squash. When the spinach is wilted, add the spaghetti squash to the pan. Stir to combine. Add the crumbled feta. Turn off the heat. Stir to combine. Garnish the spaghetti squash with toasted pine nuts. This spaghetti squash is a great and much healthier alternative to regular pasta.